This segment on Virginia This Morning is sponsored by Sona Bank Power, believing in the power of you. This is going to be a really exciting conversation. Courtney Maley with Blue Bee Cider. We're visiting her. It's a field trip here, right here in Scott's Edition. A local business, a fantastic story. Courtney, this is really cool. I'd say congratulations. You've been doing this for a little while, but what a neat story you have. Thank you. Um, when I was originally working in my first career, after really only about three weeks working in Washington, I was really young, but I knew that I did not want to be stuck inside for the rest of my life. So I started looking at different agricultural careers. And it took probably about 12 years before I finally took the leap and left corporate life, went to cider school at Cornell, and then apprenticed with Albemarle Cider Works just south of Charlottesville, and then started a cidery. So I just managed to get in at the right time. I didn't really foresee the craft beverage boom that happened. Um, Hardywood and Blue Bee were kind of starting right about the same time. And then suddenly they just unleashed this watershed of interest in locally produced beverages. And we just got lucky to ride that wave. Well, it really is pretty amazing because timing ends up being everything. And what a neat aspect of that story too, in that you said, it took you about 12 years when you made mm -hmm. that decision or had that inkling. You, you had this as an idea, but it didn't come to fruition right, right away. Right, that's exactly right. So I knew I wanted to be in agriculture, then I had to find a crop. Then it dawned on me, I already had a family member who was a successful winemaker. And then I was like, oh, okay, well wine, that might be something I'd like to try. And talked a little bit with him, did a little bit of research and figured out that at the end of the day, Virginia really had potential for becoming a world-class cider destination. It's just that nobody knew it yet. And that's when I started to really plan forward into the future with cider, even though no one else was really active in that at that time, or at least not that I knew about. So it turned out that Foggy Ridge Cider was beginning and Albemarle Cider Works was beginning, but there were really only two cideries active in Virginia when I finally made the leap. And when I was talking to my uncle, who's a winemaker, I said, oh, there's already two cideries active. And he said, well, how many wineries do you think there are in my town? He said, there's 200 wineries in my area of Washington, you'll be just fine. You'll be, and, yeah. and so you have been, you've mm -hmm. grown so much, you opened in Richmond to begin with in mm -hmm. Manchester, and then now this evolution into this really cool historic space mm -hmm. in Scott's Edition, again, as the tide was turning. It's almost, right. you worked in economic development in that first career. It's almost mm -hmm. as though you have a very keen sense of that too. Well, I do think I have a little bit of an intuition about right place, right time, a little bit, but we've been very lucky, 100%, lots of luck. And I kind of think of this facility almost like the McMinimins of Cider. If you've been to Portland, McMinimins takes these really cool old buildings and gives them community and um, gathering purposes so that lots of different kinds of people can enjoy that resource. And I feel like that's what we've done here. Courtney, following your passion and definitely uh, being really on the forefront of things, whether it's luck, whether it's planning, you were in position there. We're almost out of time, but talk us through how important having the right team is. We're here because of the Sonabank Power Program. That's exactly right. They have been incredibly supportive of mm -hmm. your growth and development. That's exactly right. So people are always the most important thing, but the right people is really even better. And Sona Bank has always been a great partner. I started out with government loans, so we started with FSA and USDA, and then we're able to transition into our first real loans with Sona Bank. And I've been with Sona Bank with every major project that we've done since then. And I think it's incredible too, as an entrepreneur, as a woman-owned business, mm -hmm. that you are taking the leap and feel there are folks along the way to hold your hand and get you there. Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So um, I would say that Sona Bank and my loan officer, Kate Wagner, has been absolutely incredible to work with. Everybody here on staff knows who she is, what she looks like. They know that they are supposed to treat her like family yeah. because she is family to us. Local business, local business on the grow. Courtney, thanks for having us. My pleasure. Bluebee Cider will continue to grow and do amazing things. Mm -hmm. Thank you.